uh, hi everyone welcome to the prison shaker series this series will help you uh, if you receive the word if you believe the word um, Jesus is the prison shaker and he will shake every prison that you are inside of whether it is the literal prison or uh, metaphorically speaking if it is a prison of sin, if it is a prison of uh, sickness, if it is a prison of any kind of bondage or any kind of problem that you are stuck with, he will get you out of it. He is able and he will promise you as you receive his promise, as you receive his word, he will set you free. He will set you free. Believe in him. Believe that his word has power. Believe that he has died uh, on the cross of Calvary for you. There is a lot of darkness and as we enter 2025, we need the word of God. We need the light uh, from God. We need the light from the word of God. We need the light from Jesus, the Savior. So uh, I encourage you to receive the word, to, to tune in every day and keep yourself covered uh, by his presence. Keep your family covered, protected. Keep your blessings intact. Keep your... Um, spirit in tune with his spirit so um, mark chapter 4 uh, tells us that jesus calms the storm he is the uh, storm calmer he, any kind of storm that is in your life he's able to come but um, the disciples uh, one time he takes the disciples he tells the disciples let us cross over to the other side and uh, in uh, by boat and his disciples uh, get along with him and they uh, cr try to cross the other side to go to another place. And there a storm comes and the storm is so furious that the boat is always, uh, almost uh, swept away. And uh, the disciples are frightened. The disciples are frightened first of all when you try to cross to the other side. What is the other side? It could be the other side literally or it could be this other side of the city the other side of the country the other side of your project to be completed to uh, to meet the deadline or the other side of that sickness to see healing the other side of um, the struggle that you are uh, going through the other side of poverty when you make an attempt to go to the other side there will be a storm there will be opposition and i don't know what opposition what storm you are going through but it looks like you are going through a lesson of faith jesus is here to teach you faith and when you make an attempt when you do not give up when you are not afraid you trust jesus you hold on to jesus and you make an attempt every attempt to cross the other side on the other side of your faith you will see a miracle a breakthrough you will see the protection of god you will hear from him and uh, so when the disciples are in the boat, they see the storm and Jesus is sleeping that too on a cushion, which means Jesus is relaxed. And Jesus was all the time teaching his disciples. He was preparing them to once he goes to the father that they will do the work that Jesus was doing on earth. So he was all the time teaching them. And this is another lesson of faith that they are going through. And the disciples are. Uh, when they see the storm, they are totally, they totally freak out. And that too, Jesus is sleeping. So they are going through a storm and um, they are going through that fear. And that too, their master, their teacher is fast asleep. The one they counted on, the one they were depending on. And uh, so that tells me when Jesus takes you uh, through a lesson, when Jesus is your teacher, the storm is your classroom. We used to have a, a teacher and uh, it used to be a one hour lesson, one hour class. And his, he was so serious. He was, there was no movement. He was so uh, stern and his, even his eyelids wouldn't move when he was teaching. He was that boring. And all of us would, uh, when it was his class, all of us would uh, dread it um, and it would be like an anesthesia where we knew it was for sure once this class starts everyone would be like this controlling themselves it was he was it was like he was injecting that sleep into us and it would be so difficult as young people it was so difficult but 
<clears throat> Jesus is not that kind of a teacher who puts you to sleep or he, who, 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 whose class is so boring and so dreadful. When Jesus is your teacher, it is an exciting class. So when Jesus teaches you faith, what happens? A storm comes and that storm can be a real storm, a literal storm. Or it can be a storm in your mind, a storm in your finances, a storm in your family, a storm at your workplace, any kind of storm. Because he's a great teacher, he shakes you up. His class is so exciting. Uh, and so the disciples say, uh, they come and they are so frightened and they say, Master, uh, do you not care? Why are you sleeping? And Jesus is like, shh, you are in a class. Uh, then they say, Master, you care? Do you not care that we are dying? And Jesus is like, shh, you are in a class. What are they learning? They are learning faith. And then Jesus gets up. And then the first thing that he does is he just uh, stops the uh, storm. He calms the storm. He rebukes the storm. He speaks to the storm. He can speak to your storm. If you will call upon him, he will start speaking to your storm. No matter what that storm in, whether in your mind, in your body, around you, in your family, at your workplace, with your career, with your business, with anything around you. If there is a storm, the first thing that you need to do is you need to trust him, call upon him, know that he's able. He's, he will speak to your storm. And the second thing he does is he speaks to his disciples, not kindly. He says, what is wrong with you? all? Where is your faith? Which means all this while he was testing their faith. And they were to do what he was doing. Calm that storm, rebuke that storm, speak to that storm. And we are to do that. As he's silent, if you feel that Jesus is silent in your life, you must speak to that storm and say in the name of Jesus, out, out of here. And so Jesus uh, rebukes them. This is what I want to tell you, that when maybe you are going through a faith lesson, he's making your faith stronger. The disciples had to do great work. They were called to do great work. Jesus was teaching them. And if you are called to do great work, Jesus is teaching you. You are in the classroom. And when Jesus is your teacher, the storm is your classroom. Don't worry. Just hold on to him. Seek him. Wake him up if he's quiet. And tell him that you need him. And he will speak to your storm. And he will uh, polish your faith. And you will rise up even more stronger in your faith. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that every person who's going through a storm in their life, Lord, may you find them. May they find you, O Lord. And Lord, I pray that you will teach them how to speak to that storm, how to speak to the problem. And may, as they speak to that problem, may that storm, may that problem run away, O Lord. And may you teach them faith, O Lord. May they enjoy your class, O Lord. May they cross over to the other side, O Lord, of their problem, of their city, or whether it is their country, or whether it is a sickness, whether it is their struggle, whether it is a lack or whether it is a problem at their workplace or in their business. Lord, I pray you will help them to go to the other side and teach them the lesson, Lord, of faith, of how to speak to the storm in faith and help them to overcome a lot. We thank you that you are a great teacher. We thank you that you are a great teacher, that you in our boat, we will not be afraid of that storm a lot with you on our side, that we will not be afraid of that storm, O Lord. And I pray every person who's listening and every person who's uh, receiving the word, trusting in you, O Lord, that you are the one who can speak to that storm and rebuke that storm, that the storm will obey you. Lord, we thank you. We praise you for being such a great teacher and for teaching us faith today, for teaching every person who's watching this teaching them faith today, O Lord. And we thank you for this lesson in faith. And I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name I pray.